the problem with the G League. So the G League is meant for rising uh, pro players to try to make it to the NBA. Um, it, it showcases their talent and just tries, uh, helps them get noticed by NBA teams and whatnot. And the main problem is, I mean, all these players are trying to get noticed, so they're either ball hogging or getting left out on touches, and it just, it's an annoying thing. It's an annoying thing to watch, and then uh, your favorite player, uh, in this case, Mac McClung, might get shorthanded some touches um, because he's pretty generous with the ball. Um, I do think he gets uh, a lot of good touches, but he um, would get more if his teammates didn't ball hog. I I've seen uh, a lot of his teammates ball hog, and uh, that's the thing about the G League. They just want to get noticed, so they're trying to shoot a bunch of shots and um, just try to get numbers on the board. Um, and in this case, uh, sure, they might score, but a lot of them, uh, let, let's say they go five uh, for 25 and they'll think they did something to help the team or, or they'll have like, 15 turnovers or uh, zero assists. Um, it, it's just an annoying thing to watch. And um, and in this case, Mac McClung has been in the G League for about three years, I believe, uh, with the Delaware Blue Coats. He was on the team for two years, and then uh, he's been on the Osceola Magic for a year. And he's done a phenomenal job. I think um, he's definitely improved in some ways this year. Uh, I do think he might have had higher scoring games last year, and that was probably his best numbers year. But overall, I think he's improved as more of a, you know, um, a ball handler and just like getting his teammates open as well as, uh, you know, create, creating shots for himself, driving to the basket, uh, hitting threes, that sort of thing. Um, his defense has gotten better, his assists. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, he, he's improved in a lot of ways. Um, and I'm just focusing on him just because uh, he's been in the G League for three years now and he, he's had NBA opportunities but they didn't you know blossom into a huge contract or anything and right now I believe it would be detrimental to his career to stay in the G League for another year um, I honestly think this year should be his last year uh, hopefully he makes a roster. I believe he's going to. Um, but if he doesn't, I just think professionally he should look elsewhere for um, just a, a better paying job. I, um, just not trying to rely on that because let's say he were to stay one or two more years in the G League. Um, like, there's not much that can change with the numbers that he's putting up. Everyone has seen what he's done. He He's transformed his game into, like, the best version of himself. Um, he's proved time and time again uh, that he's a high-caliber player. His team needs him. He can lead a team. He's a, a huge offensive threat. Um, he can play defense. He's a just a well-rounded player and two more years it just if if it hasn't happened before like why would it happen now it's like people already have their thoughts about him whatnot 
it's going to be hard to uh, have somebody risk, um, like convince them to risk giving him a position or um, just ch taking a, a, another chance at him just because it, it's just crazy that he doesn't have a spot right now. It, it's crazy to me. Um, but I, I've seen people pitch the idea that he should go to China and play and get a bag or or just, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Because the G League at this point is not benefiting him at all to stay uh, another year if we were if we uh, had a choice I, I I don't think um, you know him being 25 and all that he's in the best shape right now as a professional player and it's just like now's the time 